I'm fairly new to bike, mountain biking. I've been doing this for a few years. Um, what I've learned is I often fall and I need protections. I, I, since then, I, I went with my friend to different bike trip. I bought the elbow guard. I get the knee pad with shin guard on it. But one thing I really struggle with is every time I fall, it hurts my hip. So I've been looking for a good hip protection. So I found a couple of those, which I'm going to compare today. Uh, one is from POC, uh, VPD 2.0. And VPD stands for uh, viscoelastic polymer dough. Uh, the whole theory is this. When it warms up, it's very pliant. It's very soft. But when you have a significant impact on it, it will firm up and provide the protection. So this is one, and Fox Titan is another option, and this one is inside out right now. I want to show you the chamois that comes with it. So similarly, Fox Titan provides the hip protection. It has very thick, very thick chamois in there as a tailbone protection. A POC equally also have a big tailbone protection. But by comparison, you can see POC is providing much wider area of protection than FOX. The other good thing about POC is it has a removable tail protection. So you could remove it if you don't like it. Um, you cannot remove the, the hip protection, unfortunately. Which is, you know, what would you, right? I mean, you want to protect your hip. Uh, one thing about, like I, like I mentioned, uh, Fox has very thick chamois. Meanwhile, Pox has the minimum chamois protection. And I don't know if you can see it. Uh, if I turn this upside, uh, inside out, And you can, you can see that it's much smaller area, plus it's much thinner. However, when I rode it um, the other day for a couple of hours, it's really quite comfortable. So I saw on YouTube, I think it was from GeForce, they like to do this Skittle test. So I got this bag, has some Skittle in there that I'm going to see where this where they're worth buying. Um, so I'm gonna put it here with this bag, the Skittle, right about maybe this section. And I got this Malek, I'm gonna smash it. So, guess what? All the Skittle are intact. Nice. Quite hard for you to see. Let me take it out. And they're all intact. No damage. So, Fox Titan definitely works pretty well. So, earlier, what I measured, I did measure. This pad is only one layer for Fox Titan is about a quarter inch thick. As opposed to POC VPD 2.0 <clears throat> has a three plier of uh, protection. And when I measure it, it's about half inch thick. So I'm going to do the same thing. And put this here, lay this flat, No damage. So VPD 2.0 definitely serve its purpose. <clears throat> so let's see what happens if there's no protection.
I love it because G-Force was showing this. So I can definitely see there's some broken pieces. Let me eat it. So, so now I put on the Fox Titan. Uh, one thing I didn't know, notice is in park, they're mainly protecting this section, but Titan actually wraps around and protect part of your front thigh, which is not pretty nice. Right, um, this one, yeah, I also have nice, uh, a little bit of kind of uh, sticky band to kind of hold your legs uh, quite well. And, but you do notice that this portion, because the large chamois is much thicker. And if you turn around, you can see here's the tailbone protection, and it's another big piece. So some of the reviewers on Amazon, they're talking about when you wear this, almost feel like you're wearing a big diaper. And I, I, w I would agree with the reviewer over there. But overall, this, this is definitely the fabric for a fox. It feels more like um, a, a good elastic fabric, uh, more like an undergarment-ish. Um, so, it's fairly comfortable. It's just like, I don't like the big chamois here, but maybe I will regret later because maybe chamois is big, thick chamois here would, uh, would last long, long time, you know, for a longer day of longer ride, uh, which maybe would be better. But right now, um, it feels pretty, pretty nice and soft, pliant and but it would just feel very thick on the bottom. So now I got my pox on and you can see the profile uh, is fairly tight, fairly tight. Uh, as, as opposed to a Fox Titan, it does not have this wrap around to protect the thigh. It's mainly on this, but it's much larger piece area that it protects this whole entire area. Um, so it fits fairly well on the, I mean, it's because of the slim edition, uh, it fits really well for my shorts. The other thing is, because the chamois is much thinner and smaller, you don't feel this bulkiness at the front and the back. And here you can tell this large tailbone protection, it actually protect up to this point, as opposed to like tighten. Fox Titan is only about this much. Um, and so my waist size is 31, 32, um, and I bought medium and fit really well. And the other thing that's different, I think in this case, Fox Titan is better. Uh, it, it's just much narrow um, band here. It doesn't even have a sticky band. It's just like the fabric which is holding. The fabric is definitely more like a polymer Kind of fabric like a mesh um, as opposed to like an undergarment fabric compared to fox uh, titan like say i was i was wearing it the other day i rode a couple hours it wasn't a very hot day and it doesn't feel like hot or anything and when i wear this i would say i does not feel like i'm wearing a big thick pad as opposed to Fox Titan. And of course, the price differences between Park and Fox Titan is significant. Uh, it's almost like the retail price for Park VPD 2.0 is about $220, um, as opposed to Fox Titan, I believe the retail price is about $60. So, um, so depending what do you, I mean, that, I mean, whether it's worth it to pay that extra money. Um, you have to decide. So again, today I did a review between Park VPD 2.0 and Fox Titan. Um, both of them will give you the proper level of protection 
and I hope you like it. I hope this review is useful to you. Um, this, I bought this one that's size large. I think I could just go with medium. Medium probably fit me better. Um, but I wasn't sure. I'm not totally sold with this big, fat chamois. Um, so, like I say, give me a thumbs up if you like it.